Hello, my name's Lee Martinson and I'm a writer. I'm from Workington on the west coast of Cumbria and now I live in the northeast. Um, when I was growing up in Workington, I wasn't really exposed to much theatre. I think, if I can remember rightly, we saw, I saw an Amdram Wizard of Oz, an Amdram Oliver, and then the usual couple of school shows, which was one was Little Shop of Horrors, where it was just mostly science teachers pretending to do a New York accent. So um, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't overwhelmingly inspiring to be honest. So my first experience of Theatre by the Lake was only last year, and it was with a show called No Miracles Here, which I worked on with a company called The Letter Room. Um, they'd done it at Edinburgh the year before and then they asked me to do some rewrites on it so that they could take it on national tour, which I did, and it was great, the show was, the show was lush. It was um, about male depression and it was a musical, it was a really banging musical and um, I wanted my big brother to see it because he's really into his tunes, so um, I booked us some tickets at the Theatre by the Lake um, while it was on tour and we came over, I came over and we went and, and saw it in the studio there. A little bit of everything inspires me. I'm a bit of a magpie, so um, I'm kind of always looking for stories and for narrative in things. And um, I'll be the one on the bus or at the party, just just creeping around, like trying to f like listen into some good lines or some good twists in stories that people are telling one another and um, thieving them basically, so I can integrate them into my work and and claim that they are of my own imagining. Um, so music really helps me be creative. Um, um, if I'm starting a new project, I'll the first thing I'll do is work out the soundtrack for that world, um, and that might be the um, the main character's favourite band. It might be the music they listened to when they were growing up. It might be um, the music that plays in the world that they'll end up in when 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 they're older, you know. Um, it might be the music that was playing when that terrible thing happened 50 years ago that's going to be the big reveal in Act 3. It might be that, but it'll, it'll be something very distinct that can kind of give me a shortcut into that world, but also works as a backdrop for why I'm working to kind of immerse myself within it. I started working at a theatre, which was live theatre in Newcastle. Um, in like 2004 or 2005 um, and they were they were just pumping out loads of brilliant work at that time it was really northern it was really working class it was really like the ink was still wet on the page when it was like landing on the stage and being zoomed into people's faces and and it was just such there was such a variety of work and it was really inspiring and I was just ushering and working on the bar but I saw all of this work and I'd just finished a fine art degree and I didn't quite know what I wanted to do um but I saw this work and I was like that's that's what I want to do really like I want to I want to I want to be part of, of that I want to make that so I enrolled in a free introduction to playwriting course at live and learned some of the basic mechanics of writing a play and then I wrote a 10 minute play about Stella Black um, who was helping a young lad come out and that won a BBC competition and then I adapted that into a full length play and then I adapted it for BBC Radio 3 um, and then I just kept getting commissioned off the back of that. Um, I worked at Corrie for a bit in 2012. I was story liner there so I was making up the stories that the writers write about the characters on Corrie. Um, I did a lot of radio um, and that's it really. I'm just working project to project. So theatre, radio and and at the minute I'm writing a film as well for the BFI. I work with the Young Company at Northern Stage in Newcastle and for the last three years we've made a show um, and those shows are my favourite projects that I work on. There's about 25 young people, there's a creative team of about five people and we work together um, intensively for eight months to create a 90 minute brilliant crazy musical uh, movement heavy gorgeous piece of theatre that is written by myself Lawrence Wilson lots of members of the young company um, and there's it's just always f full of heart full of absolute heart we'll spend those eight months sharing stories and um, 
and working out what we want to say, you know, going, we've got 90 minutes, what do we want to fill that 90 minutes with? Um, and, and so we end up with loads of stuff and then we whittle it down and whittle it down to this really concentrated blast of um, just, just gorgeousness and, and um, honesty. And that's really, I really love working on those projects. So I'm going to be doing a workshop and it's just going to be looking at, um, it's an introduction really to playwriting and um, we'll be doing a couple of exercises that um, if you want to will take you from the blank page to writing scene one and beginning to think about character and setting and plot or none of those things and thinking about how a play could be told. You know, there's no rules. There is no rules. There's kind of flimsy ones that exist but also the best players are, are ones that, that, that set fire to those reels and go, no, I'm going to do it like this. Um, so we'll be doing that on Monday the 15th of June at 4pm. All the details will be on the Feeds by the Lake website and uh, it's for everyone. We're all storytellers and um, hopefully the workshop will help you um, write some of those stories down.